Okay. C'est un clock. Euh, bonjour à tous, merci bien de vous connecter avec nous. Euh, bon, vous êtes ici parce que vous connectez à TIC. Buenos días a todos y gracias por conectarse con nosotros. Uh, we are going to hold this session in English uh, since unfortunately it's a lingua franca eh? and understandable for everyone here because we've got colleagues from France and we've got, we've got colleagues from this side of the frontier. So unfortunately not everyone talks French nor Spanish nor Basque. Okay, so welcome everybody. And good morning. Uh, thank you for connecting with us. Uh, today we are going to, to hold this uh, session uh, as the mid-project sessions of the uh, of the project Validantens. Uh, Validantens is the acronym of validation of additive manufacturing metal of ant antennas uh, for space applications. Okay. Um, just two details for the people that is uh, here and us. Uh, we are recording this session, so it will soon be available to everyone in our YouTube uh, channel. Or if you want to have the, the complete, uh, the complete uh, 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 recording, you can, you can ask for that. And on the other hand, uh, there will be a slot for questions and answers uh, at the end, as you, as you can see there in the agenda, the more or less at 11 o'clock, uh, you can uh, open your camera and microphone and ask your questions personally, or if you want to uh, to uh, be anonymous, uh, you can uh, use the chat you can find in somewhere here in the in the in the in the tool. Okay, I will be aware of the chat and I will. Uh, do the questions for you if you want. Uh, as you have already seen in the invitation, uh, we are going to show you the progress and, uh, and the results of the of the project at uh, at this time of the of, of the of the phases. Okay, and we will explain to you the expected results and we will uh, hold a new session for final sessions, the final uh, uh, results diffusion for everyone uh, in about, I don't know, more, more or less, Fernando, but you will you will tell you uh, it's about uh, half a year or something like that, okay? Uh, we are going to introduce all the partners to you and publicly thanks to the Euroregion 9 for the support and superb management of this support framework uh, because uh, it's a modest framework about this eh? but very well focused on the needs of the three regions as you can see there in the in the slide and very agile and very useful uh, so merci uh, à la Euroregion okay so we begin I am going. I am Martin from Egan. I'm the least important partner of the of the group. Uh, we just uh, do these things, uh, the the diffusion, the uh, a little bit of coordination. But well, uh, it's one of the, our role. And I am going to give the floor to Fernando. Fernando is the is the leader of this project. He's from uh, he's from Anteral. Uh, in the Navarra region uh, with Nitec and Microland. Lysier Space will, uh, we will, uh, will uh, explain to you about uh, their faces and the, and the progress of the, and the, of the project. Uh, they are from the French side and here from the Basque side we are CTA and EGA. Okay, just uh, Fernando is the floor is yours. You will lead the presentation as you lead the project. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much, Martin, for your next presentation. Uh, good morning to everyone. I'm Fernando Teberio. I'm the CTO of uh, Anteral. And I'm going to introduce the project and the, and the, and the different partners that we have. And, and as, as we all know, the, the, the benefits of, of the conventional CNC milling techniques. Uh, for manufacturing RF or micro parts, uh, uh, are needed to assess them with with the benefits of the added manufacturing techniques. The possibility of, of integrating different parts in the in the same assembly is is particularly important in modern communication systems 
because we can avoid the screws and, and interconnection that allows us to a dramatic reduction in the mass and the cost of of, uh, of, of the parts. And this is an example of what uh, LT manufacturing can do. The mass reduction, the optimization of the cube volume, the reduction of the mechanical interfaces that are very important in the, in the advanced applications, for example, for, for a space where mass and volume are, are very critical. If uh, the RF or microwave systems have to be manufacturing as, as individual components, a large number of pins and the screws will be needed. And, and this came to a large uh, overhead in the, in the form of cost, uh, lead development time, and especially uh, efficiency. And, and because any misalignment and channel points to, can lead to a significant losses, especially at higher frequencies. The, the objective of the project is to, to explore and validate uh, metal IT manufacturing techniques and post-processing techniques for the production of, of antenna fit chains for space applications, specifically for small uh, satellite applications. This goal will be accomplished uh, by, by comparing classical manufacturing techniques. In fact, conventional CNC milling techniques will, will be carried by, by Micron and with the new additive manufacturing techniques and specifically with a selective laser melting, which uh, will be carried by, by, by Lysio Aerospace in, in France. Uh, in order to perform this comparison, two uh, radiant chains have been designed and fabricated, both in, in, with uh, CNC milling and, and SLM uh, techniques. Then we can continue with, with the phases of, of the project that you can see in the, in the slide. The, the project has been subdivided in, in different phases. First of all, Anteral uh, has been in charge of the electromagnetic design of the, the RF design of the radiating chains. NITEC has been performed the finite element simulations and metallographic tests. The, the IT manufacturing parts have been fabricated by Lizzie Aerospace uh, in France, while the CNC milling parts has been fabricated by, by Microan Aerospace. And the test will be carried out, the S parameters and the radiation pattern tests will be carried by us, by Antenal. And finally, the environmental tests will be, will be done by CTA. Finally, the assessment of the results uh, obtained for, in the different tests and the conclusions will be online, hopefully in a, pres in, in a presential uh, conference. We continue by presenting all, all, all the partners that are collaborating and, and working in, in this project. Anteral is, is the leader of the project, and here I'm here to represent the, the company. And Anteral develops a innovative technology, complying the, the most uh, re challenging requirements in the field of, of antennas, passives, and radar technology for different sectors such as uh, space and defense, telecommunications, or industry. And we have two different development lines. The first one that I'm, I'm in charge of is uh, the antennas and passive department, which, uh, with, where we develop high performance antennas, orthomo transducers, polarizers, filter deplexers, and all, all the different passives that are needed in, the, in, a reducing, in a reducing chain. And we have another department focused on the, on the radar the development and, and the radar technology for smart cities or industry under the trademark of URAD. And last but not least, uh, the research and development is in our DNA. As the company came from the university and, and we participate in different innovative projects, such as uh, the one that we are uh, presenting today. Indeed, Anteral was born in, in 2010 as a spin-off company of the Antenas Group in the Public University of Navarre and, and has participated in, in, with different antennas and passive designs in, in 13 space programs. We are 16, 16 people in the company, made up of engineers and, and PhD doctors, young but are passionate in, in, with, with, our, with our work. Our culture is based on the innovation, self-improvement and, and team building, because our team is the most uh, precious uh, resource. Just to summarize, uh, under our task that we are in charge, you can continue with the next slide. Uh, uh, Anteral is, is, uh, is, uh, is in charge of the electromagnetic the design of the radiating chain by means of, uh, of, of these, these two radiating chains with the same uh, antenna, which is an S-plane antenna, 
and and one design for, for and, and the polarizer one design for, for the cnc and another design to uh, am basically thinking in in the in the in the benefits of the id manufacturing can give us to to design this this uh, these components it's the turn of cta good morning everybody um, my name is Miguel Oran, and I am the, the person here in CTA who is collaborating in this in this project. I would like to introduce firstly our our center. Uh, CTA is a is a is an aerospace testing laboratory specializing in testing for development and certification of aerospace materials, systems, and structures uh, with a high R and D activity. Uh, I mean, uh, we are focused in in the development of different tests. We develop new test benches, and we also have here our own test bench to to test the components for the aeronautic and space industry mainly, and and also for other kind of sectors. Uh, we also develop our own R&D projects and also we are collaborating with different uh, R&D projects in, in here in, in, in our Basque environment and also in the, with the European community. And in this, this, in this project, we will be in charge of the test picture and design and manufacturing for the different tests we are going to, to perform and also we will execute this this test. Uh, we object, we, our objective will be to to check that the, the antennas that will be developed in this in this project uh, will withstand the, the duration, shock and thermal environment that we all encounter in their during their, their lifetime. Thank you, CTA Meredith. It's your turn. Yeah. Hi, everybody. My name is Meredith. I'm from uh, Lizzie Aerospace Additive Manufacturing. So to quickly introduce our company, we are an entity of the Lizzie Group that is uh, specialized in uh, metallic additive manufacturing. We are using the um, SLM process. We are a team of uh, 25 people near uh, Bordeaux. Uh, that work uh, mostly in the field of um, aerospace and uh, defense with uh, some clients like uh, Dassault, Airbus, Thales, Ariane Group. And um, one of the particularity of uh, LAM, is Aerospace Additive Manufacturing, I would say, is that we are not only focused on uh, the fusion process, which is obviously the core of our work, but we are also working on the before and after uh, steps of uh, the fusion process uh, in order to be involved on the entire um, value stream of the production of the parts. So for the before step, we are uh, working with our customer to uh, co-design, to have a design of the parts that is uh, that fits the additive manufacturing process. We are also working on the on our powders to have a qualification according to our machine. And for the after uh, uh, steps, once the part is uh, printed, we have uh, in-house facilities to do most of the uh, finishing uh, steps. And we are also have a laboratory to um, do the final control to be able to deliver um, ready to use parts. So in the project, our responsibility was to uh, is to deliver um, the part uh, through SLM techniques. Well, hello everybody. Thank you for for being here. I'm going to introduce uh, our company, Microland Space. Uh, my name is Inigo, and I'm here with Aitor and Ana Maya for this presentation. Uh, Microland Aerospace was founded in 2004 by our actual CEO, Mr. Xavier Echeverria. And at the beginning, uh, he started only with five employees, and now we are up to, to 42 employees. Uh, we are a company uh, dedicated to uh, and specialized in the manufacture 
of uh, precision mechanical components with high geometric and dimensional requirements. We work for industrial sectors that demand an agile and precise service, such as the research and medical sector, renewable energy, capital goods, and of course, uh, space and aeronautics. Uh, customers trust uh, is our uh, daily challenge that motivates us to outdo uh, ourselves day after day. Here you can see some examples of our main clients, as, uh, such as Airbus, ISP System, Volkswagen, Tern, uh, M. Torres, and Viscopan. Finally, we want to say that our annual production capacity is of 50,000 hours. We also are 35 in the ISO 9001 and ISO EN 9100. Hello, good, mor good morning. My name is uh, Angelo Barrio. I'm project manager of uh, Validant Tennis in, in Nitec. Um, Nitec is a, is a technological center based in, in Navarre. Uh, we are focused on, on mobility and, and mechatronics. Um, um, and we have a um, very extensive range of, uh, of knowledge uh, that can be summarized mainly in uh, our focus on uh, aerial and ground uh, autonomous and uh, unmanned vehicles, <clears throat> artificial intelligence and cybersecurity, uh, the part of functional printing and of fabrication, and uh, uh, as in previous editions of uh, some other region projects, uh, the, the integration in uh, the embedded of the electronics in, in composite. We have as well uh, testing capabilities, and as well uh, we have um, uh, an important part of uh, design, analysis, and simulation of mechatronic products. Uh, based on this uh, last knowledge, uh, we are uh, we have a task in uh, in Valid Antennas based on uh, for doing the structural analysis of both the uh, 3D printed and the uh, typical manufacturer component. And uh, based on uh, on our capabilities for for testing. Uh, we are in charge as well of the metallographical analysis of uh, of the 3D printed components that later on we can later on explain a little bit more. Thank you. Yeah, uh, regarding the, the, the phases that we have uh, already performed in the project, the, the, the first complete uh, phase was the electromagnetic design of the relating chains done by, by Anteral. And to do so, we have fixed this, uh, these specifications that you can see in the in the slide. The, the antenna fit change uh, will operate in both K and K bands simultaneously, covering the, the following bands that defined between 17.65 and 21.25 gigahertz and 27.45 and 31.05 uh, gigahertz, where we have considered the thermal expansion of the structure considering the temperatures that the that the that the relating chains need to need to operate, and the antenna fit must uh, provide a dual circular polarized signals with a directivity higher than 17 dB and, and an action ratio better than, than 1 dB. Okay, and, and furthermore, the, the the return loss must be higher uh, than 18 dB, and the insertion loss must be kept below 0.3 dB. These values are quite important to be also, also fulfilled. The length must be lower than 20, uh, 200 millimeters, which correspond to, to uni, two units of, of CubeSat. Okay. And in, in, in the next slide, we can see the, 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 um, the simulation results of, of, the, of the design, uh, of the design uh, uh, radiation chain. Indeed, you can see that the return loss are better than around 25 dBs for both bands, fulfilling perfectly the the specifications that are marked with these boxes. The isolation is uh, higher than 20 degrees and the, the, and the directivity is fulfilled for both bands with value higher than, than, uh, than 17 degrees. In the, in the next slide, we can see that the, the, um, the radiation performance of, of the antennas, we obtain a very nice axial ratio, which is very important for, for the circular polarization. Our specification is, is, uh, is uh, one dB, but we can achieve with with the component that we have developed for this project uh, values higher uh, than 0 0.5 dBs. Not only for the two bands that we have designed in the in the in in for the, in, in this project, that the band that we have, indeed we have we we can achieve 0 0.5 in a very large bandwidth defined between around 17 to 31 gigahertz, which is very very nice. And and this this uh, this polarizer. 
is 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 a very good candidate to be used not only in this in this application but also in other in other applications. So that this is this is a one achievement that we have obtained in this project that we only we focus this design in the in the in the satellite in the small satellites for the feed change but but we can use also this this component in in other in other uh, commercial products that we develop here in Andenal, such as for example CAT, catrs or 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 or, uh, com or feeders in for for ground systems also, we can we have uh, put in, the, in this slide the the far field radiation pattern at two different frequencies in, in, in the different bands, and we can see uh, we can see that uh, that the the, the the activity that we, we obtain is higher than 70 dB, and the and the and the cross polarization is very nice in the, in a very wide theta. Uh, indeed, we can achieve uh, this 40 dB uh, uh, cross polarization. And, and also uh, we can observe that the excellent uh, the excellent side load level suppression that that we also achieve with uh, with uh, the antenna. It, it is very important to know that that the requirements that we have we have fulfilled uh, with margin enough uh, considering the, the expected manufacturing errors that we will have in the CNC or the, the conventional CNC manufacturing techniques and also in the in the IT manufacturing techniques. Well, um, regarding the, the finite element simulations in, in NITEC, we have performed uh, the finite element simulations for the two models proposed by, uh, by Anteral, both the, the one manufacturing uh, in 3D printing, printed and as well the, the classical one. Uh, as in the case of the radio frequency, as well in the mechanical part, we have a sufficient margin uh, for for the life in the, in the satellite, um, we have uh, in this sense prepared them the the, uh, the test plan uh, together with uh, uh, CTA. As uh, Michael has said, okay, we have been preparing this test campaign, and one of the points was checking that uh, when doing the testing, uh, we are going to have margin enough to 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 perform them. As well, we will use this simulation uh, to. Uh, to correlate this model uh, with the result that we obtain, so that uh, we can verify uh, what are the difference in terms of damping and so between the, the 3D printed and the classical ones. And uh, we, this simulation well, we will, will allow us to, to learn a bit more what can we do in, in future designs. So for the project, so we were in charge of the additive manufacturing production of uh, the waveguide. So the parts are made of uh, aluminium and we uh, produce them on our um, EOS uh, 290 uh, machine that you can see on the, on the picture on the left. Um, so uh, we decided to do uh, two production uh, batches. The first one, uh, in order to do some uh, testing on the parts, so we can establish the best possible uh, process for the second batch. So for the time being, we have produced uh, the first batch. So the dimension of our machine is um, 250 by 250 by 300 millimeters which uh, allow, allowed us to produce uh, at the same time uh, three polarizer, three spline horn and four radiant chain. Uh, you can see one of uh, each type on the, on the picture in the, in the slide. So um, we uh, directly did some uh, dimensional control uh, right after the printing, but after that we put the different parts through different uh, finishing steps, uh, different uh, surface treatments, and then we machined the bits of the parts that needed to be to be done. And finally, after also all of that, we were able to carry out some uh, testing, uh, final some final checks. Uh, to be able to collect data on the different different parts that had been through through um, different um, finishing steps, and uh, now we have sent the part to uh, Anteral so they can uh, also do the testing that they need to do, so we can uh, come up with the best um, process for the second batch. 
In this project, our task was to mechanize the assembly formed by the components designed by Antera that include the horn and filter. Together, they form a mechanical subassembly. After that, we have been in charge of the geometrical and dimensional measurements and also the measurements of the surface roughness of all the different components. Here in this uh, slide, you can see the, the horn and the filter that we have mechanized. And also uh, the two machines, the two CNC machines, where those uh, those parts have been mechanized. And in the in the back of the of the slide, you can see the verification and control room where we measure all the, all the parts that we do, so we can have uh, the control of, of, of all of them and make sure that they meet all the all the requirements. Yeah, and and that is all the phases that we have we have performed up to now. Uh, uh, we have we have now here in Anteral the, the parts that have been manufactured by by Microline and and Lisi. We will perform in the in the following uh, in, in the following weeks in the next month maybe with with the Christmas the first uh, measurements of, of the parts. Indeed, we have measured the, the, the polarizer the fabricated for, by, by, by milling, and it, it operates very, very good. And then the, the, the action rate that we have obtained in, for the manufacturing part is, is very awesome. And uh, NITEC will continue with a metallographic uh, test uh, based on the, on, the, on the probes that, uh, that uh, Lisi has uh, been also uh, fabricated. Uh, Lisi will also uh, uh, cut uh, the, the pieces in, in two parts to measure the roughness that they have achieved in the in the in the manufacturing by by AD manufacturing by by SLM, and and to choose the best uh, process with uh, with uh, with the results and also the, the the result that we will obtain with uh, with uh, with the S parameters and uh, and uh, and the radiation patterns. And uh, then we'll, uh, with, with the results, they uh, Lisi will uh, fabricate uh, another another uh, another production of, of, of the set of antennas. And finally, we will measure all the different parts uh, uh, with the S parameters and the, and the radiation uh, pattern within the anechoic chamber. And finally, uh, I think in, in the February. The environmental test, uh, vibration, and thermal cycling will be performed by CTA in its, uh, in its uh, facilities in the, in the Basque Country near near uh, Vitoria. And finally, we will conclude the, the the project with with a comparison of all the results that we have obtained in the in the in the project and the, and the conclusions uh, that hopefully we we can share with with you and more people. Presentially or both presentially and, and online, if, if everything goes good with with the COVID situation, the pandemic situation, and we are very happy here in in Anteral with with this project because we have developed very nice uh, components and we have a very good team, a very good team with with uh, Nitec, uh, Microlan, uh, Lisi, and uh, CTA, uh, and Nitec. We are we are working all together. We are different partners, but working hard in, in developing new uh, components and products for for the space sector. Yes, yes. Uh, thank you very much, all the to all the team. It's super interesting, and we are very proud. Uh, from it's an honor for for Egan to to have so good partners and so good relationship between among all of the regions uh, uh, so it's it's a really really an honor okay um as you know but i'm going to take the face mask off because i'm i'm sharing the i'm sharing the room uh, for us it's very it's, it's very important to to have this opportunity because as you know uh, the the aeronautics and the aeronautics sector is uh, it's having a lot of problems we are we are in a, in, a, in a big depression, and I think space uh, is a strategic and a strategic area because it brings uh, high added value for our, for the society, for the for the economy, and it's very it's very important for the security, for the science, and for the technology uh, development of the of the territory. So uh, I think space is a, a big asset to 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 
to take into account for the governments and for the industry to 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 face this opportunity. Okay, so I'm super I'm super happy to be here with with you and with Nine. So this is a question and an answer a slot. Uh, I, I I cannot see in the chat nothing. But if you, any of you, want to open the microphone on your camera and, and ask some question, I, I've got one for you, Fernando. When we will have the the conclusions? I think that uh, we will have the conclusions, all the assessment uh, in in the last of February or March, uh, hopefully. Okay. Uh, we have performed the, the first measurements, uh, the S parameters of the of the polarizer, which is the most critical part of that we are considering this in this design, and for the for the milling and and this and it operates very very good. We need to perform the measurements in the in the anechoic chamber for obtaining the the radiation pattern, and we will measure the the first part fabricated by by Lisi, I think that maybe next week or. In the, in the first of, of January, and hopefully we will uh, we will have all the assessment uh, and and we can share the results of the project in March. This one. Okay. okay one yes. Of, Hello. Okay, this, Eduardo. Yes. This is Eduardo Lugoiti from Sener. Uh, yes, I have uh, well two questions. Uh, one mm -hmm. is uh, more technical uh, for. Uh, Okay, the, the, I have seen that you have manufactured this uh, uh, the components of the antenna in, in three parts. Uh, uh, have you investigated also if if it is possible to to do it in a, in a single unit? And if uh, if so, uh, this uh, uh, if uh, if it is not possible. How how the assembly of the parts uh, uh, will require additional uh, work to to join the interfaces and and to 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 confirm the uh, the alignment between all all the parts. This is the technical question, and the other mm -hmm. question is more for for the for uh, uh, commercial. Uh, I w we all know that uh, the constellations are becoming uh, more important. And uh, which is the uh, have you uh, include in your activity uh, a cost uh, cost driven requirements for uh, having this uh, this product available in uh, for a for a very attractive cost? Uh, that is the two questions. Yeah. Yes, Martin. Suggesting... Maybe. Thank you, Eduardo. Yeah. Martin, can, can you go to a previous slide when, where we can see the fabrication, the, the fabricated parts by Lisi, the, the, the previous, I, here. There are no, we have considered for, for the ID manufacturing, we have fabricated two different uh, parts, okay? Firstly, we have separated the fabrication of the polarizer and the antenna in order to, uh, to assess or to evaluate they uh, individually. And we have also uh, fabricated both parts in the in, in all the reality chain in a single part. It's the, you can see in the in the in the picture the three parts: the polarizer and the antenna, which will be measured separately, okay, to uh, evaluate or assess the performance individually. And then we will also uh, we will also uh, measure the the complete reality chain considering the antenna and the and the polarizer in a single part, okay, and for for the CNC milling, we have uh, the, the conventional CNC milling. We have fabricated both parts separately because this is the, the typical approach to 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 fabricate this these parts. Okay, and this okay. is the, the first question. And and for the second question, we will evaluate the the IT manufacturing and the CNC milling not only in the in the in the RF performance or the anechoic chamber or, or the radiation pattern and so on, we will also uh, evaluate the, the, the performance, the, the performance or the costs and the and the, the times that we need to assemble the structures. And and it is we we will not only focus on the RF, we will assess all 
the all the driven parts of the of the of the radiating chains to fabrication and assembly and measured and ATC. Okay, thank you. I, I, I didn't realize the, the, that in the in the additive they were they, they were the, yeah. the the joint of the of the two parts. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Any other questions from the from the audience? Well, no other questions. Uh, if you want to to say the final remarks or something, uh, uh, some of the partners. Okay. Well, so well, uh, we are on time. Eh? I I want to thank you all for being there. I want to thank the thanks the the team for for the performance and for the work and for for the next uh, phases and I want to thank you again thank uh, the region again for to give us the the opportunity to to do those kind of projects. Uh, we think it's uh, valuable for for the society and for for the regions. Okay. No, the thing to say, uh, I will. Uh, <laughs> I wish you a Merry Christmas to all of you, which you will have soon. The the, the recorded the, the film here in our YouTube channel, and uh, say a Happy New Year and and the next one in person. Okay, Fernando. Hopefully, hopefully. Yes. Merdit, merci beaucoup, Angelo. Everyone, Gracias. Team, 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 Thank you. Bye. See you next. See you next session. Bye. 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 Bye.